Here are five simple gifts made from wood for kids. The first gift is a toy car. I drew a simple car shape on a board and cut it out on the bandsaw. The edges were smoothed out with the sander. Using a hole saw, I cut out some circles for wheels. With the wheel on the car, I marked the location for the axle with a center punch. I drilled out the axle holes with a hand drill going straight down. These holes are larger than the axle to allow it to rotate. The edges of the car and wheel were given a round over on my homemade router table. The axle is made from a dowel rod. It is cut long enough to go through the parts and have a little play. Then one wheel is attached to each axle with wood glue. I used paste wax to lubricate the axle. The other wheels are attached after the axle is put into the car. My next gift is a crayon tray to corral wild crayons. Using my router table, I carve out a series of shallow grooves with a core box router bit. I use crayons as spacers to move the fence as I add grooves. Eventually there wasn't enough room for another groove, so the remainder was trimmed off on the table saw. A raised border will keep the crayons from sliding off. I ripped a board to the height of my raised border. Three of the four edges along the length are rounded over. The non-round over edge will join to the bottom edge of the tray. The border pieces are mitered like a picture frame with the miter gauge. Wood glue and brad nails work really well for mounting the border. The third gift is a toy glider. I freehanded a silhouette of an airplane on a board before cutting it out on the bandsaw. A jigsaw or a coping saw can be used if you don't have a bandsaw. The leftover markings are then removed with sander, followed by smoothing the curves and flattening the straight edges. The glider body is given a round over on all edges. The wing is a rectangle with curved corners. The tail wing is one piece with a cutout for joining it to the tail. The wing will be joined to the plane in a recess as it'll create a stronger joint over attaching it to the top. The tail wing will also get a cutout to join to. The wings are smoothed and rounded over before their edges receive a round over.
With the pencil, I mark the edges of the wing where they're going to join to the plane. The edges of the wing are rounded over except between the pencil lines. The tail wing is rounded over except in the joint. I again use the hole saw to cut out some more wheels. If I had a drill press, this would be a little bit easier. I use a router table to hand hold these wheels as I round them over. It's best to use a dowel rod that's the same diameter as the pilot hole on the hole saw. The process of adding an axle is the same as it was for the car, with the center punch and the drilling of the hole. Ensure that glue goes over all mating surfaces and use a little hammer for some persuasion. However, this time I made a mistake and made the axle too long. I fixed this by first spacing the wheels correctly and letting the glue dry. For gluing the wings, I used yellow wood glue and wiped off the squeeze out with a wet cloth. The excess axle is trimmed off with a handsaw and any scuffs are removed with sandpaper. The fourth gift is a geo board. Using my crosscut sled, I cut a board into a square. With a combination square, I mark an evenly spaced grid on one side of the board. A dimple is made at each line intersect with the center punch. My drill bit is chosen to match my dowel and a depth stop is used to keep depth consistent. The board is sent to the router to be rounded over on all edges. With the miter gauge and a block on the rip fence, I cut my dowel into evenly length dowels. Each hole receives glue and a dowel. The fifth gift is a tic-tac-toe game board. The O's are made by cutting out a circle with a hole saw and then cutting out another circle with a smaller hole saw. The X's are made with a board where the grain runs the width of the board rather than the length. On the router table, I hog out a dado running the length of the board The dado is centered on its width and goes halfway through its height. With a stop block on my sled, I cut pieces into the width of the board that are as wide as the dado. Glue is applied to the dados and the pieces are joined to make X's. A block plane is helpful to lower any proud edges. A roundover is placed on all edges of the O's and X's. Tricky edges can be rounded over with a sander. The playing board is a square cut out of plywood. 
Thin strips of wood will be used to make the grid. The grid will be made up of six short pieces and two long pieces. I mark out the intersection points to round over the exposed edges while skipping the joining faces. I also rounded over all edges that will be exposed on the short pieces too. The playing board will receive round overs except where the grid meets the edge of the board. The grid is attached with glue and brad nails. Finishing nails can also be used if you don't have a nailer. When it comes to finishing, I use shellac on all of the projects because shellac is easy to apply and extremely kid friendly. Please help me out if you enjoyed this video by hitting that subscribe button and smashing the like button.